All right, so now that we know that cells have to divide, they can't just grow larger and larger, let's look at this actual process of cell division. Here we see an artist's illustration of cell division, not an actual image of cell division. So cell division is just the process by which cellular material is divided between two new cells. And we call these new cells that were once one, we call them daughter cells. So we have one mother cell, right? And this one cell will now divide into these two cells, and that's cell division. And it can be represented simply with this relatively easy formula of one mother cell divides into two daughter cells. Uh, important to keep in mind here is that this one cell becomes two. This one cell does not make two cells. So if we look at our image over here, this one cell becomes two, it doesn't make two cells, and then this cell still remains. Okay, this one cell is split down the middle to be two. And the two daughter cells, ultimately, we be, will be identical to uh, the initial cell, or they'll be identical to each other is a better way to think of it. So the two daughter cells produced in cell division will be identical to each other. Um, most of the time, outside of any genetic or uh, genetic abnormality, which we'll talk about. So here is a real picture of cell division. We're going to see pictures similar to this uh, under the microscope, and hopefully, once again, we can isolate our own cells and see our own cells dividing. So each daughter cell, when it's made via cell division, is about half the size of the parent cell, the initial cell, if you will. Uh, but it, they immediately start growing and they become the size of a mature eukaryotic animal cell. And again, keep in mind that we're always talking about eukaryotic animal cells unless otherwise specified. So a typical cell, like the ones we saw of our own under the microscope, they have about two meters worth of DNA inside the nucleus packed into those structures called chromosomes. Two meters is six feet. And we needed microscopes to see these cells. And we could barely see the nucleus of those cells. And yet you're telling me there's six feet of DNA in there? Yep. So before cell division can occur, before one cell can become two cells, all of that DNA, all six feet of it, has to be copied. right? And there has to be 12 feet of DNA inside the cell because that new cell that's going to be made needs its own set of DNA, its own chromosomes. And every single species on Earth, and we're going to talk more about this in the coming units, but every single species on Earth, your dog, my fish, us, have a characteristic or a specific number of chromosomes inside the nucleus of our cells. Humans, you and I, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, right? So 23 sets of two chromosomes, ultimately being 46 chromosomes. That's 46 little tightly wound packages of DNA. And those are inside every one of our cells. So all 23 pairs, 46 individual chromosomes, all of those have to be copied before cell division. So we're going to have 92 chromosomes in our cells right before cell division. Let's talk about chromosomes during eukaryotic animal cell division. So each cell must first, as I said, copy its chromosomes. So if we're talking about us, eukaryotic animal cells, we have 46 chromosomes, so we have to copy those 46 chromosomes and have 92 inside of one cell before division. That way, when the cell divides, each of the new cells, each of the daughter cells, has 46 chromosomes and is identical to the original cell and to each other. And there are two main stages of cell division, and we can break it down pretty simply. You have the mitosis phase, which is division of the nucleus and internal contents of the cell. And then you have cytokinesis, which, rightly so, is the division of the cytoplasm. It makes sense. At least they sound alike. Okay, now, we're going to track a chromosome, aka DNA, through a simplified uh, process of cell division. So here's a chromosome. This is a real chromosome taken with an electron, this image is taken with an electron micrograph, okay? And then we have illustrations over here that represent chromosomes, okay? So here is a real chromosome right here. 
This is an illustration that represents chromosomes within a cell during cell division. And this is what's actually happening to the DNA that makes up those chromosomes. So, we have one cell. This cell wants to divide. So when this cell divides, or when this cell goes to divide, it's going to have to first copy its chromosome. So here's a chromosome. And then we copy that chromosome. Okay, And now it has two arms instead of just the one. And we can see that blown up here, one arm and two arms. So now when the cell divides right down the middle, one arm goes to this cell, one arm goes to this cell. And in terms of us, eukaryotic animal cells, there'd be 92 of these inside this one cell, and 46 would go over here, and 46 would go over here. Okay, And again, because DNA makes up chromosomes, you can see if you look all the way to the right, the same thing happens to the DNA, as does the chromosome, right? One strand of DNA is copied to make two, and then those two strands of DNA go into individual daughter cells. Okay, now let's talk about the cell cycle, right? Because the cell cycle is what's gonna lead to cell division. We're gonna look at cell division uh, as a whole in just a moment and the phases that the cell has to go through. But so far we know that cells are not able to just grow larger and larger. They have got to divide or they will die. And we know that before a cell divides, it has to copy its chromosomes, AKA DNA. And if we talk about us, eukaryotic animal cells, we have to go from 46 chromosomes to 92. So that way when one cell becomes two, each cell will have 46 chromosomes. So the cell cycle. The cell cycle is pictured up here uh, in a pretty simple looking pie chart fashion. But the cell cycle is basically just a series of events the cell goes through as it grows and prepares for division. <clears throat> the cell cycle is basically the life of the cell. It's the life cycle of the cell from the time it's first formed. So when that initial cell divided and became two cells, these two new cells entered the cell cycle and began their own process getting ready to divide. And during the cell cycle, the first thing that happens is the cell grows a little bigger, right? Remember I said back a few slides ago or in the last screencast that that, that one cell become two cells and those two cells are kind of smaller than the initial cell. So the cells have to grow, they have to get bigger first. And we're gonna find out why, don't worry. Then the cell prepares for division. This includes copying organelles, copying DNA, getting everything ready, basically duplicating everything. And then the cell finally divides into two new cells, splitting organelles, splitting chromosomes, aka DNA, and cytoplasm. Catch you in the next one, more cell cycle.